So have you ever looked down at the ground and thought, what if I just kept digging into the earth, like all the way straight through the earth and then jump right in? Where would you end up, right? Could you actually fall through the planet and pop out on the other side like a cartoon? Well, let's find out. First off, the earth is massive, right? It's about 12,000, about 742 kilometers wide. That's nearly 8,000 miles of rock, molten metal, and pressure so intense that would crush almost anything. Now, you'd have to dig through the crust, pass through the mantle, survive the outer core, which, by the way, is liquid metal at over 4,000 degrees Celsius, and somehow make it through the solid inner core at the center of the planet. So, yeah, spotter alert. In reality, you would be vaporized before you even you know, get too close to halfway. But let's say, suspend reality for a second, and let's say science figured it out. You've got a magical tunnel. It's frictionless, heatproof, and airless and runs straight through down to the center of the earth from where you are and the exact opposite point on the globe. So you jump in. No ropes, no nothing, no parachute, nothing. You just jump right in. Just a straight fall into the unknown. What would happen? So gravity grabs hold of you and pulls you down, accelerating you like you're on a roller coaster without brakes. About 21 minutes later, you reach your maximum speed at the very center of the Earth itself. But here, it gets really weird. Once you pass the core, gravity actually starts slowing you down. It's pulling you back towards the center again, right? And now from the other direction, like falling through a giant planetary half pipe. Now you're not stopping there, you're just slowing down as you head up on the other side. Now in a perfect world, with no air resistance, you of course, you will shoot all the way down to the other end of the tunnel right up to the surface and fall back again. You keep going back and forth like a ping pong ball, right? That's like a human pendulum forever. Now, unless something or someone stops you, but this is Earth, right? We have no resistance. Well, even if it has, it doesn't play fair. So in reality, the tunnel would be full of air, right? And air means drag. Well, now the air resistance would slow you down quickly. Now, you wouldn't make it to the other side at all. You wouldn't even get close. You'll be stuck in the middle instead, right? That's like halfway through, and you'll just go back and forth a few times, and you'll just be perfectly still at the center of the earth. No up and there's no down, just weightlessness. And that's forever. So trap into total darkness. And if your brain feels a little melted right now, keep watching, hit like.